Hello and welcome. It is me, Necronoth. We are back. More CK2, more Yemen. Maybe this is the episode we'll crack the Arabian Empire? Who knows? Let's get right into it and see what happens. Oh, I see. Is this the event that happened? We will not become cynical. We will get the journal. And we will see what it is. Plus zero five health. Interesting. So it's written from the standpoint of my mother, who comes from another religion, and how to live in our country. Nice. I like that. It's very wholesome. And we wrote our own book. The On Icta Warfare. This has been worth all the hard work, obviously. It's a quality 3 book, increases morale, damage and defense, and gives us one marshal. Oh yeah. Uh, please become diligent. You did. Good, good. I muted myself because I needed a drink. Um, designated regent. Who should be regent now that our mother is dead? I guess our wife should be... Maybe our brother? He's brawny. That's no, brawny and genius. That's great. He turned out fantastic. There is our wife. There she is. This is a random girl. You should learn on your own. And I no, I don't think much will happen. This episode actually because of how what si what situation we are in we have no revolts we have just fixed everything for our very young character you will be immediately expel expelled from my court because I do not want someone from a different religion and culture to come and backstab me and be a tool for my enemies <clears throat> so, get out. We are just waiting to clear up the last of our negative modifiers and building our... expanding our hospitals with our buckets of ducats, and we are waiting for 100 piety to switch to late feudal administration, I think. We could potentially think about expanding out into the world, like expanding into the trade ports and owning them, but... There's a, there's a large butt here, but I don't really know where I would take things. I would rather want to expand, expand westwards, because it's the natural expansion of us instead of expanding east, but that could probably... It could... if we don't manage to crack the Arabian Empire, that must... that should be our next venue of attack, I think. I support that tradition. Let's build a Kasbah and expand the hospital here. Uh, the way the hospital works is it's based on based on our construction skill, right? At construction level two, you unlock the basic hospital. N no, you can always build the basic hospital, but the basic hospital does nothing. Having cons construction two lock unlocks sick house, leper colony, and soup kitchen. Uh, just the sick house you need in order to build all the the auxiliary buildings, and the basic sick house reduces this is I mean it increases uh, disease resistance and increases the hospital level, but the hospital level doesn't matter. It's the disease resistance that matters. Uh, then the auxiliary buildings just either increase disease resistance themselves or do 
other things, like this for example increases our piety and temple vassal opinion, just like the chapel increases the, it does the same. Translation house increases prestige and tech points, piety and prestige, tech point and tech spread. Uh, tech spread, uh, it gives us tech points and this also gives us technology points. So, but these don't unlock until construction 4, for example. And they cost increasingly loads of money. Like, I think this next level of sick house will cost us like a thousand gold because uh, it's not historical to have a very evolved type of uh, uh, sick house not connected to your religious buildings. Like, for example, I don't know how it worked in Muslim countries. If you know, you could post it in the comments. Uh, but, for example, in in Catholic countries, as far as I know, uh, it was the the priests who did all the the healing, like they they did all the taking care of old sick people and stuff like that. Because I don't know, capitalism, early age capitalism. I don't know. It was tied to the religious folk anyway. For, for different reasons. They knew the most, they have read the most, they were the we we most well versed and stuff like that, I guess. So let's have, since nothing is happening in our little corner of the world, let's have a look in the world. Tibet is still going huge. Western Protectorate is uh, pillaging the uh, small. don't know why they're not expanding faster, but they're just tributizing the small horse lords. Kazaria has been uh, well kicked out of uh, kicked out of what is this region? It's Alania. They still hold a little bit, but they are being sieged by some people. Can't tell. Is it this one? Kizaid? Maybe. Uh, Byzantine Emperor is having some difficulties. I we've had a very weak. He has three different revolts at the same time. He hasn't taken Serbia, he's barely expanded into Croatia, he doesn't own but most of Bulgaria. Like, he hasn't expanded very much at all, so I think they are on an early decline, which is sad because I like the I like the Byzantine Emperor Empire. Is this guy not uh, Slavic? What the hell? I have absolutely nothing to say about that. Uh, Italian has spawned and the Holy Roman Empire... <laughs> oh shit. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to sneeze. I had to sneeze. What I was gonna say is the Holy Roman Empire, I can't remember if they spawned early. I think they did, right? Uh, let's see here. Let's press this button and this. No, they've been around for like 60 years, so they didn't spawn through uh, King Carl the Great, but it's still the Carlings, so it's a descendant of him. Let's look at him. Yeah, he was the son of King Carl. Interesting. England is still being England. Uh, do do Barth. I can't pronounce this name, really. The Who Barth. They are doing some expansion. Wessex, ex Wessex is a expanding. Sorry, that's a tongue twister. Wessex is expanding slightly. Uh, what the hell? It's a Scottish guy who is now Welsh. Who's that? Interesting. Northumbria is doing some things. Mumu might create Ireland. Scotland is not Scotland yet. They're having massive issues, it seems. Uh, we will not see an early, uh, early crusade. 
The Crusades could start in 900 if, for example, Aquitaine is held by a Muslim, or any anyone not Catholic, I should say, but they are all Christian, so that won't happen. It won't spawn in 1050 because Spain is ex like 100% Catholic. This is disgusting, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, so that's interesting. This could lead to some issues, especially for us, if we decide to want to expand into uh, the rest of Africa. If we want to take the rest of Africa, for example, uh, we can't declare holy, holy war on these people because they are so... Like, if, if we attack one, everyone is going to join. That's going to be bad for us. But they don't, they don't have a lot of troops yet. Um, and let's hope they continue to not have very many troops yet. These guys are still being, being Slavic. They haven't reformed right. Nope. How is Sweden doing? Sweden is doing fine. We're still pagan. Denmark is still pagan. Yes. Norway is still being pagan. Yes. Are they from the same family? They are. Cool. Wow. They've switched away from the... When did that happen? Kingdom of Sweden. Oh, they got usurped. I see. Because the ruling fam family in the beginning is not Skjölder, it's... Skjölder, it's... Um, uh, Afunsa. So they've switched. Uh, is there anyone living of this dynasty? Um, one, two, two, two people? Really? Is are they dead? They might be dead. Three people, three people, three old ladies with no heirs. I am incredulous. How could that happen? That's a, that's one of the strongest houses in the game. Ragnar Lodbrok. He's dead. Okay. Well, that's depressing. Let's continue. We are now all... Yeah, that we immediately get gained depressed on, like, learning that. That is very appropriate. We now have a hundred pieties. We can consider what we want to do. We could increase centralization to counter the fact that we became depressed. Um, Press this for regulated inheritance, which means uh, vassals cannot land cannot leave our realm. Or we can get this: vassals who refuse liege interference in war are seen as traitors. Could be good. We don't have any uh, gender or succession laws because we are still considered a sultanate. Sultanate. Let's press this. Did, nope, that didn't bring up anything. Okay, let's continue. We collected a special tithe, or well, we didn't, but our, our guy did. I wish we had some more uh, learning so we could join the Hermetic Society. We need to have ten. Soup kitchen. Indeed. We have some disease resistance. I mean, it's countered by the fact that our country is flourishing, because that lowers disease resistance. Uh, give me a moment, guys. I need to blow my nose. That's a lot better. Jesus Christ, I was here wiping snot off my face. Uh, the Liberator of the Great Protectorate addresses a letter. To strengthen the relationship between our nations, my master sent me on a mission to your domain. Absolutely you can come, my dude. You are very welcome in my room. That means we could switch to... Could we? No, we already set him to 
thrift focus. Mm, what if we... We should probably try and put some people in inside these uh, different... Um, different roles, maybe. Maybe someday. Could send 2,600 gold for 300 grace. Might as well do it, because we have so much money that we're not spending, really. Um, Ethra Tor and a Fortnite at my court. Libationer Jogosangid. Visit has reached its end. He... Everything went smoothly. Nice. Good, good. We are a thousand away, and we could send artifacts to hurry that up. Soon, soon, my lovies. My, my lovey dovies. We are... uh-oh. I do not want to become a kid. So, please. Excellent treatment. Mixture of goat's milk and the fat of a boar. Okay. Sure. Thieves' guilds are disappearing. Our court chaplain died. So... We cannot hire a new one. Yet. So we should go and Hajj. Since we get some piety from that. And invite a holy man. Uh, you are not what we asked for, and we have the great box. Oh no. It's not good. It's not good at all. That might kill us super fast. Listen to the old man. Get a stewardship. Inform others nearby. We should strive to become humble. We did. Good. I feel invigorated. Nice! Uh, we have a claimant. Okay. That's that's fine. We must help them. Good. Let's invite some more holy men to see if we get some... You can stay for now if we get nothing better. Wait, aren't you still the... No, okay. It's not good. It's not good, I don't want to do this. But we're gonna do it, since we're brave. We are cured, but we are s disfigured. Well, we are still handsome, right? Things will be fine. Wish he didn't chop my face off. Is all. <gasps> Here we go. Okay, so we we have a we have a revolt going. Can we? Are we in a non-aggression pact? What? How? God damn it, dude. How are we? Oh no, he's. She. Oh, I can't. I. Oh, okay. So, we're essentially screwed because since we're married to this guy's daughter, it's impossible for us. Um. I guess you will become Marshall. What did you do? The Duke of Oman wants to kill someone. Um, I didn't check the. I didn't check how 
Uh, how difficult that would be? I, I think I saw a 35%, so I'm happy I didn't have to fight him. Because I didn't really want to. He lost a tributary. What happened? Kinsman is now Mastermind Theologian, which is good, I think. We can't reappoint him, but we could probably do... no. Resign. Yeah. Someone broke free here. I don't want to talk about it. We are scarred now. Okay, so we didn't get to press the button uh, this time, but we probably will next time. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time again.